G'day mate, welcome to Dyson Sphere with me, Jetty, or welcome back to Dyson Sphere. All depends on whether you're a brand new viewer or an existing viewer of this series. Either way, welcome to Dyson Sphere with me, Jetty. So, we're doing a quick recap, just in case you're new here, just in case you're new here. We're doing a quick recap of uh, the progress so far. So as you can see, we're out here on a lovely planet. On a lovely planet, it's actually rotating really, really quickly. So we're going to have a few day-night cycles we're going to go through because this planet rotates like every 80 seconds or something. Uh, it is a lovely planet situated around our lovely black hole. It is at the edge of the galaxy. And this is our science planet. This is our science planet because as you can see, we make white matrices here. In fact, we make a whole belt's worth of white matrices here. And we run them into a whole bunch of labs to crunch through science as fast as possible. This is all before the blueprint system was enacted, which has actually just happened. We've just got blueprints added to the lovely game, which means uh, we need to keep scaling up our production. Now, this lovely system here, it works perfectly. All the sciences work except for one item. There's just one item that we're a little bit short on. And that is not under favorite three, it's under favorite number two. It is the critical photons. Critical photons, which of course come out of the Dyson Sphere via the ray receivers. We're a little bit short on those. The reason we're a little bit short on those is you need a lot of power. A lot of power to make 1800 critical photons per minute, uh, which is how much science you need to fill a whole belt's worth of uh, a whole belt uh, worth of science packs. Um, and to get more critical photons, we need more rockets. To get more rockets, we need to basically make rockets faster. We're only making one and a half per second, one and a half per second. And at the moment, we're trying to scale things up just, just a little bit, just slightly. We can, we can launch them plenty fast enough, but we can't build them plenty, plenty fast enough. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to make more rockets uh, in this particular series. Now, as that we've done the sciences, we've done the sciences, we've got 30 per second. Our next job is to, um, our next job is to launch more rockets. To launch more rockets, we're launching them around, uh, we're out on the edge of the galaxy, uh, around the Magnar system. So the Magnar system is launching rockets left, right, and center. Uh, as you can see, we have a good amount of rockets currently being launched around our very, very bright Type O star. It is one of the brightest that we can have to uh, harvest as many critical photons as we can on the Magna number one system, which is inside the Dyson Sphere. So it means the ray receivers work day and night. They are always functioning, always running. Uh, but yes, we need a lot more rockets. As you can see, we've got a lovely dot to dot pattern. And the plan is after the rockets have finished launching this pattern, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna play dot to dot. I'm gonna join them all together to launch a few more rockets. Now, you might say, GD, why aren't you filling them with cells? Why aren't you building a Dyson shell? Well, the reason is, is I'm waiting on the devs to optimize the system a little bit more because currently, um, if you put a lot of Dyson sails into a sphere, you have a performance impact along with a save file uh, size impact. Um, currently, my save files are around about 300 megabytes in size. And I have built very large Dyson shells before and ended up with a save file well over a gigabyte. Um, so I'm choosing not to do that. I'm choosing to do everything with rockets, mainly because I like my frame rate. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you guys like the frame rate as well. So with that plan out at Magna, and uh, our plan is to go back out to the Micho system, to Micho number six. Micho number six. Micho number six is where we're trying to make rockets. But before we head there, there is one thing I want to research. Uh, that is now that we have them, we're going to go research uh, some blueprints because everything we've built up till now has been done without blueprints. And obviously, I'd really love some blueprints. So with that said, we're going to head our way across to the Micho system, which requires a little bit of altitude, a little bit of speed, and a little bit of warp. We're going to head across there as fast as possible. Now... You might notice this series is probably different from any other Dyson Sphere series you're seeing. Uh, one, we're planning to go, well, any other Dyson Sphere series that's currently out there on YouTube. Because one, we're going for a mega base. We're, we've got 30 signs per second. We're now trying to make seven and a half rockets per second. I know seven and a half doesn't sound like a lot, but last series I built 30 rockets per second and there was no frame rate left anywhere in the game. The game just can't do 30 rockets per second. Uh, also, 30 rockets per second needs like 8,000 assemblers or something. So we chose, no, way more than that. Way more than that. Like 30,000 assemblers, I want to say. It, it, it's quite excessive. So we've chosen to just, just seven and a half. Seven and a half sounds like a good number. And after we've got that up and running, we've got a few more rockets being made. We're going to go 
back to science and we're going to take our 30 science per second. We're going to double it to 60 science per second and then we're going to even try 120 science per second. I'd love to have four solid belts of science being chewed up as fast as possible because it turns out the infinite research is not quite infinite. But if you hang around, stick around with the series for long enough, we will get to the end game. We'll get to the end game when there's no infinite research left. Uh, the other thing you might notice is some of the stars out there have some fairly peculiar names. Uh, that is because right down the bottom underneath the video, there's a like button. Right beside the like button is a subscribe button. If you haven't clicked the like button by now, I really, really suggest you do. Very, very much it helps out the channel. At the same time, if you're not already subscribed, I'd very, very much appreciate if you would click the subscribe button. Lastly, Right beside those two buttons is the join button. Those that wish to join, oh, missed it. Uh, nope. Those that wish to join and wish to support the channel, uh, there we go. That's another feature of our lovely uh, series is the uh, lovely superhero learnings we find ourselves in each time we get to a planet. Aha! This is our build. This is our build and this is where we're building. Okay. Uh, the other thing you'll find is, yes, uh, we, we do superhero hero landings throughout this series. So, it does mean from time to time a video may be demonetized. Uh, turns out sometimes the big corporations don't so much like it when you steal three seconds worth of, sorry, 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 borrow three seconds worth of footage from their videos. So, if you wouldn't mind helping out, if you like the content, you consider the content well worth watching, you can always click the join button. Uh, there you can join the channel, you can support the channel for the grand total of, well, Jet is cheap, it starts off at $1 per month. $1 per month will let you support the channel. It's cheaper than a, than a month's, a whole year's worth is cheaper than a month's worth of Netflix. Let's, let's put that into perspective. Uh, so you can always join the channel, become a lovely member of the channel, and at the same time, uh, support the channel, and I would very, very much appreciate it. Uh, also, it means I will give you absolution from any guilt you may have from using Adblocker. So, with that done, we now have blueprints up and running. We have finished using Icarus to do the very first stages of research. We now have uh, our home system, our home system, and our home labs uh, around the Taka system. Uh, yep, with a, our, our, our lovely, our first Dyson Sphere, our first verse first Dyson Sphere with a lovely once again reminder to click the button we have our home system which is doing this uh, research here and it's going to knock through them fairly quickly it's only half a dozen labs but it should knock through them without too much problem and at the same time we have another planet over here the icy smelting planet which we have just a little bit of smelting on with a small issue with air traffic control that you know I'm sure we'll go away eventually and it won't become worse when we put smelters on the other half of the planet at the moment because we've only done the South Pole so far. But uh, I see smelting is our smelting planet. Speaking of smelting, uh, I will be sharing my smelting blueprints probably the next video. So if you haven't clicked subscribe by now, you know, between me asking you politely, me putting a giant advertising campaign right across the screen, uh, advertised so large that it's bigger than a planet, you probably should have clicked the subscribe button now. You can get access to those blueprints, which will be shared on my Discord server if you just want to make the shortcut and jump straight to Discord. Anyway, with all that out of the way, we have fledgling blueprints. Uh, in fact, actually, I should have access to all the blueprints I've already been playing with, but they're not ones we're going to be talking about right now. Right now, we're going to be talking about rocket production. Uh, that's another blueprint done. So, rocket production. We want to make F. F for freaking handcrafting. We want to make small carrier rockets. To make small carrier rockets, we require three components. Uh, the component we're trying to work on right now is the quantum chips. Now, the quantum chips require uh, plane filters. Plane filters require... Uh, no. There, there, there. Plane filters require uh, titanium glass, which we have up here. They also require cashmere crystals, which we have... The components for here we have titanium crystals plus we have graphene they don't have recipe set of course they don't have recipe set why would they have recipe set uh thank you actually if i remove the sorters we should be able to do both rows at the same time i could probably do this quicker now with blueprints actually 
Uh, experiment for later, Jodie, to try out. Come on. There we go. And there we go. And there. Two. There. Okay, so we have graphene being made, and we've got as far as Casimir Crystals. We do not have the actual uh, quantum chips made themselves, nor do we have the plane filter, nor do we have the processors. So that's sort of today's episode. Today's episode, the plan is to sort of get through those those basic things. Now, for our uh, for our plane filters, uh, plane filters, we're going to require four uh, two hundred and forty assemblers. Oh, the other thing I do want to mention is. We had a couple of updates with this patch. This patch added the uh, construction drone tasks. If you start a new game, they went from three tasks to four tasks. The drones got upgraded if you'd already started doing uh, infinite research. Rather than getting a plus two, you get a plus three. Uh, the drone engine also, rather than being plus two meters per second, it was plus three meters per second. So there have been some changes. At the same time, there is a mod, I'll link to it in the description below, that you can install, run once to have your game basically modified. What it does, it unresearches everything and then unresearches all the research you've done in communication control and drone engine that you've already done and then re-researches everything up to the research you currently have completed. So it basically just redoes the research for you and gets you the correct amounts. Uh, I have installed that mod, I have run that mod once because let's face it, I'm, I'm going to be using a lot of drones, especially with blueprints coming out. The other thing I have installed is I have been running this on and off for a little while and it's currently broken, but I have oop, a light mod. So I have a light mod that would normally light up the ground. Now it just lights up the machines, which I actually prefer because it means you guys can see. Because let's be honest, I'm here so you guys can see uh, the game. And that's what matters to me much more than getting my name on a leaderboard. So with that out of the way, yes, we're going to be doing uh, two mods. Uh, well, one, that mod to just does a quick modify to bring us in line with the rest of the game and the other one to make sure that you guys can actually see what we're building so with that out of the way we need 240 assemblers uh running plane filters so let's grab an assembler let's whack it right here to start with change the recipe over to plane filter on top of that we're going to need to bring the two belts with a titanium glass so we have uh, one belt, two belts with a titanium glass that are sticking out. That needs to also come down into this build and feed through here. And what else do we need? Uh, we need cats to go off in the background. Um, oh, we also need the cashmere crystals. There we go. Cat's done. Okay. Get louder and louder. Uh, we need cashmere crystals. Now, cashmere crystals, I need one belt's worth of cashmere crystals uh, to go through all 240 uh, plane filters, and I need two belt's worth of titanium glass to run through 240, uh, 240 uh, plane filters. So, what I want to do is I sort of want to plan this out uh, using blueprints as much as possible. So, first thing I think we're going to do... Okay, first thing we need to do is we know titanium glass is here. Honestly, I'd like to bring it straight through rather than run it up to the far end and then back. So, first thing I think we need to do is we need to drag this belt as far this direction as possible. Okay, uh, all the way up potentially yeah, to there. Okay, then I want to grab an assembler. We're going to put an assembler right here. We're going to set you to be plain filter. And I want to drag up uh, 60 assemblers. So the plan is going to be having four rows of 60. So that is 30. That is in the wrong spot. That's 45. And that is 60. Okay, so that gets us to 60. Now, now I know where 60 is. We're going to put in two belts, that being belt number one and that being belt number two. And they're going to be our two titanium glass belts. And we're going to bring titanium glass from there to... Uh, let's bring it to there, then down to ground level, 
and then into there. The other thing I need to do is I need to have an output for these guys to actually output the uh, plane filters. And then I need another input. I need another plane filter because our Casimir crystals, after they get all the way down to the end, we're going to loop that belt up, bring it all the way back up, and then into the next loop. So, Cashmere Crystals need to come in here. So you're an output belt. We're gonna leave you nice and long. Uh, we're gonna put another machine there. Uh, nope. I need you to go up and then down. And that's the Cashmere Crystal return belt. Cause like I said, it's gotta make it Got to make it down, up, and then back down again. Uh, we need another titanium glass, which will be that belt right there, which will bring down to ground level here, and then run it that way. Uh, you'll be the output for this build, which will run long, so future JD knows where it is. And then in theory, I can start blueprinting things. So what we want to do is we want to make sure you have an input, which we're going to copy to your friends. Uh, we want uh, mass construction level 5, so we can now blueprint without any limits. We want you to have an input from titanium glass, an output to the plane filter belt, an output to plane filter belt, an input from titanium glass. We want you to input... Uh, no, I want you to input on that side. So I want you to input from the cashmere crystal. I want you to input titanium glass, uh, output plane filters, output plane filters, input... No, input titanium glass, and then input cashmere crystals. Okay, so in theory, I should be able to drag that three assemblers, drag that three assemblers, drag that three assemblers, drag that three assemblers, and then the biggest difference is, because you notice if I turn this on, I haven't powered anything so far. I haven't been bothered. But now we actually have real blueprints, I should be able to put a power pole there. Actually, probably a power pole there and a power pole there. And that should power up everything in a set of four. And then my hope is, if we bring up the blueprint panel... Uh, okay, so I have to turn off the bright light for blueprint... No, hang on. You... Okay, so we have two of them that don't have power. So let's move you out a tile. And move you out a tile. And then I have two at either side that don't have power. Okay, so we're going to need three power poles to get everything powered. So we should be able to go control C. I should be able to copy everything from there to there. Yeah. And then paste. And collides with other object. Okay, so I'm going to have to remove belts. Uh, wrong belt. I need you to go through to there. I need to remove that belt. I'm going to have to remove all of this output belt that we've already built. I should actually just remove that from the blueprint. No, because I... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I don't need it for the sorters. I don't know. Alright, we will try this again. Okay, so I'm hoping blueprints are going to make things faster. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave Icarus hovering right there. Uh, no, I don't have the overlap. Okay. Wrong button. Land it, please, Icarus. Okay. I need to make sure that we overlap the belts by one tile. So, I'm hoping if I bring that to... No. That to... There. That to there. That to there. That to there. That to there. Paste. Okay. And then if we want to paste that one, that does not overlap. Okay. So we need to do this again. We need to do a copy. Uh, thanks, autosave. Alright. I want to trim 
I want to grab everything from there to there plus an extra tile uh, and the back row yeah and then I want to remove that and then I should be able to hit paste and that should go no that's still missing a belt why is it missing a belt Join that, join that. This is the part that I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to end up with a situation where we blueprint things with enough uh, precision that I don't have to come back and do this joining of belts thing. Okay, all right, copy. So we're gonna go from there to there. There to there. Minus that machine, that machine, that machine, that machine, that machine, that machine, and that machine. Okay, is that going to be correct? I don't know. I think it's one tile too much. Paste. That's uh, two tiles too much. All right, let's try this. Let's try pasting that there. I think this is this is going to happen a fair bit. We're going to recopy it. I'm going to trim the belts off the end. We're going to say paste so I have it in my hand. We're then going to remove that. Paste again. And then let's see if things fit. No, because those belts are still one tile too long, because that's how the previous blueprint was. Okay, remove, 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 remove. That sorter's got to remove. That's got to remove. That's got to remove. Land Icarus. Okay. That lines up. That lines up. That lines up. Now, I can't click and drag, because if I click and drag, the sorters won't show up. See how bright it is? It's glare on glare on glare on glare. Okay, the point is we can blueprint very successfully by just lining up our belts. And if I fly to the end, everything should be placed. Well, everything should be marked in to be placed. Okay. Then all I have to do is remove that and that. That's a lack of an item because I don't have any. Okay, so I need to... I'm always going to have to make sure I go and refill my inventory with stuff. So I actually have the ability to keep building. Because that cashmere crystal belt needs to come to there. And then it's got to go all the way back up the build. Then all the way back down the build and so on and so forth. And Icarus is going to need more research. Because although I have 24 construction drones that can build four things at a time and they move 30 meters per second, it's not enough. Uh, at least it keeps charged. Oh, I can make 24 megawatts worth of power. Wow. Okay. All right. So that is our uh, plane filters. Now, plane filters are going to head into uh, quantum chips. Now, quantum chips, quantum chips are interesting. I need 60 quantum chips. Okay, to make 60 quantum chips, I'm also going to need 60 processors. So, first things first, we're going to join that belt to that belt, and then bring it down here. Okay, and then I need to have a build that's going to cover us. Uh, okay, so we have a grid shift line right here, from the looks of it. Yes, okay, so we have a grid shift line there, so I'm going to intentionally bring that one tile over and then run that belt that way because I do not want to build on a grid shift line especially now we have blueprints so I'm going to want to output my uh, quantum chips then so I need a quantum chip machine uh, quantum chips are going to require where are they 
Quantum Jibs are going to require uh, plane filters, which they're going to get from this belt. Plus, they're going to require processors. What I want to do for my processors, I want to put the, another machine right behind it. And I want to make processors right there. And honestly, I want to do direct insertion between the two. Processors are going to require microcrystalline components and circuit boards. So again, what I want to do is I want to do microcrystalline components into processors. Now, there's a really good ratio uh, of four microcrystalline components to hang on, three of these guys to uh, four of these guys, providing you get your sorters to line up. Uh, so, first things first, let's start with one of you guys there, and one of you guys there. Uh, actually, I need your tile closer, please. Is that going to be an issue? Now we have blueprints, it might not be. So, you had to build them a little bit funny in the previously because of the lack of blueprints. Uh, I'm hoping now, now, first off, if I drag that out, can I put a power pole in here? I can. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put down a machine. We're going to change you to do, uh, quantum chips. We're going to put a sorter from there to there at the side. We're going to have you output, you input. I'm going to drag that there to there. Which hopefully means I can put a power pole right here in the middle. Got the other power pole there. Uh, you guys are going to need probably... Oh. How many belts do you need? You're going to need... I'm going to need six belts just to feed these. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. All right, so we need to rearrange things slightly. Uh, let's remove that to start with, and those belts, and those guys. So we're going to run our... Uh, we're going to need two belts. Maybe I can't do this. We want to import processes from there and insert circuit boards in the front. Let's put a power pole there. Because potentially, I, I need two belts of circuit boards. So potentially, I'm going to need to have two belts. Let's assume I just need two belts. Okay, then I need to do the micro crystalline components. So we're going to put those two there and have both you two be micro crystalline components. Uh, no, I need to move you over by a tile. So we're going to drag you two out and you two out. So it's four to three, okay? Because it's four to three, it means you are too far, really? Uh, yes, you are too far. Okay, grab that, move you forward as well, drag that out like that. Okay, so you need to input into you and you, you need to input into you and you. that unfortunately leaves these guys only one tile to grab from and I need to feed you uh, four belts of silicon and two yeah four belts of silicon which I can only fit three on the back side plus two belts worth of uh, two belts worth of copper Okay, so it's not going to work. But this part works at least. Alright, so let's remove this again. Uh, 
You guys just need... You're going to need two belts of electronic circuits plus two belts worth of uh, microcrystalline components. Okay, so if we put that belt there and that belt there... Input, 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 uh, input, input, input. Okay, and then take another power pole and put it here. Okay, can I get four into one power pole? Possibly. Uh... And then copy. We're going to go from there to there plus one tile. Uh, that should work. Uh, paste that. So that's ready to go there. I just need to remove that, 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 and potentially all of that. And it should be a case of paste. Okay, so that's four. That's eight. 12, I mean 60, 60 machines, so, uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, uh, 24, 28, I can hear it Chris flying, uh, patch in the way, of course there's a patch in the way, why wouldn't there be a patch in the way, alright, so we found our first problem, there's a stone patch in the way. Do we care? Do we bury it or do we leave it? Uh, how far down would you have to move? You'd have to move down to here. How far before we have the next grid shift line? It is good question. This is the problem with these ice planets. It's very hard to know where the, line, the grid shift lines are. It's not all the way up to, till up there. Okay. So we still have plenty of room. All right. So let's let's move everything down. Poor bots. Uh, note: we can see that things are not getting powered. Okay. So we now know our blueprint needs to be made in sector three, and we need to start further down the planet. All right. So let's remove all of that. Uh, we want to go to here. We want to start a belt from here. And the belt is literally there as a marker, so we know what tower we want to start on. Uh, okay, so then we want to put a... A what? I can't slide it up and down. You're kidding me. Oh, because the spacing in the assemblers changes. Alright. If I slide it down here, can I hit the plus button and increase the spacing? No. No. See, this is the joys of blueprints. We get to learn them together. I thought everything would be so much easier. Okay, so we need to bring... Uh, hopefully I didn't delete too much of that. I deleted a whole bunch of that. See, it went so well for the first build. And everything's gone downhill from there. Uh... Alright, fly down marker again for our coal line, uh, our stone line. Our stone line would be here. So we need to come down to there and then around that direction. We need an output belt. We need... So they're happy like that. Uh, then we need a... We need to bring in two belts and two belts. Okay, so if I did one belt plus an assembler, can I, I can drag those through still. Plus one belt, plus one belt. Okay, so we're going to call you guys processors. Uh, and we'll have you do... Three, four, 
three inputs. Sorry. Uh, change over that tool. Thank you. Uh, so three inputs, one input, two input, three input. Uh, fourth for the uh, circuit boards. Then we'll drag that to there. Uh, now means we should be able to put a power pole right here in the... No, it's the power of everything. I do not want to build this in sets of two, but maybe we have to. Okay, and then... Quantum chips need an input-output. So again, uh, set the recipe. Quantum chips, uh, three... That does us just. Okay, and then if I remove, I need one belt sticking out the ends. Okay, one belt, no more, because one belt we can use to overlap. We're going to copy that from there to the end of the build, paste it, and no. Okay, copy it again. Let's go the opposite direction. So I'll drag from bottom left to top right, and then paste. And now I can put it down. Okay, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. We're halfway. Uh, 1, thanks, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cool done apart from you know actually having the stuff in my inventory all right so it gave us another couple no faster drones faster drones we're gonna go for more drones more drones that's a 50 to 72 thousand research and then we're gonna do a couple more veins utilization so we make sure we don't run out of resources all right so that should get that part built we should be able to get uh, both the quantum chips done along with the processors. Now, processors are going to require uh, micro crystalline components. Uh, can I have all of that, please? Plus all of that, please. Plus all of that, please. And they're also going to require uh, processors. So we need to bring in another couple of towers for raw item input. Uh, we're going to bring in a tower as close as possible. Maybe not as close as possible. Maybe right about there. Uh, actually, maybe a few across a few more tiles. Uh, let's go with there. Okay, so we need to get out uh, two belts worth of uh, circuit boards to feed our processors. Plus, I need two belts of microcrystalline components. So, first thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to run a belt of what will end up being copper down the middle. So we need to bring in copper and iron to get circuit uh, circuit boards. Iron. Can I? No, you're not going to fit. Uh, yes. I want you to move over another tile. Okay. Uh, as it iron, copper. Uh, I need two builds, ten machines long to get a full belt out. Uh, there is not a lot of room to move here. Uh, this one might not be able to be blueprinted, but it's 10 machines long, so it shouldn't be that hard to build the old-fashioned way. Okay, so we're going to put in a production, one of you guys. I'm going to have an output belt right there. Uh, you're going to be doing circuit boards. I'm going to go in... Uh, in off the shared copper belt because it's going to be a shared copper belt between this build and the next build and then we want to go uh three six nine ten done all right so that's the end of that build and then we want one two three this should be the output to the other build which we should be able to just pick up that assembler and drag and drop and that should be 10 as well uh, we're going to bring that belt, okay, so we're going to bring that belt into, uh, sure, into there, no, uh, actually, that belt needs to go into there, uh, that belt 
port needs to go into there. Remove that. Uh, power poles because they're not a blueprint. Didn't come with power poles. So it should be there, 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 and one at the end. Cool. Everybody's happy. All right. Apart from the whole power thing. Okay. So after doing that, I need to do micro crystalline components. Now, micro crystalline components, I'm going to need two belts so i need to make two belts worth of micro crystalline components which means for every micro crystalline component i need to bring in two silicon plus i need to bring in one copper so i'm going to need six belts total uh three copper three micro crystalline uh three two copper uh three silicon so we need to decide where this town's going to go one there bring this as close as possible one there uh change that out for Silicon, change that one out for silicon. I can add all the items later. We're gonna want to bring I'm gonna want to bring the micro crystalline that direction. So I then need to have three tiles for an assembler plus one, two, three for your input. Uh, we can drop an assembler right there, give it input, 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 change your recipe to micro crystalline components, uh, output, uh, hit up, belt one, belt two, belt three, uh, and then this side of the build should be much, you know, it should basically be exactly the same. Uh, so copper, I need to bring to there, uh, silicon, bring to there, uh, other silicon, bring to there. Extend these down a little bit. Uh, put in our other favorite assembler. Bring that belt to there. Yes, raise you up a tile uh, to there. Drop you down and run in there. And three of them, I hope. There and there. Okay, maybe it's four of them. Uh, there to there to there. Uh, that goes that direction. You're gonna need an extra tile. Okay, I need everything sticking out one tile at least. So we can blueprint. Okay, copy from there, no, from there to, there, paste, yes, okay, then each row needs to be collided by the object, what? Oh, I need an extra tile, okay, extra tile all the way along, This is the problem. Whenever you have one tile short, adding one tile is a bit of a mess. Uh, yeah, two belts of silicon, four belts of copper. Uh, two belts of silicon, one belt of copper. Uh, copy that, paste that, and you should now. So you shouldn't go there, but you should go there. Okay, so we need to have uh, 20, 40 assemblers either side. So that is uh, 4, 8, 12, uh, 16, 20, 24, 28, uh, 32, 36, 40. 
So then it should be just a case of walk Icarus along, make sure everything's placed down. This says I'm still short of sorters. Uh, nope. I'm still still short of sorters. All the ones I had have already been allocated. Uh, that, that, and uh, that. Uh, they've all been put down. That's all been put down. And with that bit done, we should have... Yeah, see, I, I feel like I have way more extra belt hanging out the end than I should. So with that all done, we should have uh, micro crystalline components, which should come up to the processor line. Along with our two belts worth of circuit boards, which should also come up to the processor line, which should meet our uh, plane filters that have come down from above, down here to make uh, my uh, processing units, which should pop out the end. And with that said, that should be uh, one third, one third of a rocket done. It means next episode, we're gonna come back and we're gonna start playing with the Dyson Sphere components, which are gonna be an absolute nightmare because we need to make sales. We need to make processes again, which we've already done once, not too hard. We also make need to make the Dyson Sphere components, which I can tell you right now are gonna be an absolute nightmare. And believe it or not, with blueprints, um, it's our first attempt, but I think this actually took me longer to build with blueprints than it did to build it manually in the past. Maybe I'll get better, maybe I won't, but either way, I'm going to leave it here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. I will see you guys in the very next episode. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because there should be a, uh, a video coming out in about 12 hours, maybe, maybe a little bit less, uh, covering some of my, some well, covering the first of my blueprints. Um, my big massive blueprints for things like uh, making many, many, many smelters so you can have your own forged world. But with all that said, this is where I'm going to call it. Uh, as I said, thank you guys for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. And do me a favor. Tell your mum that Jenny said hi. All right, that's it. I'm out. Bye.